In this part, we will learn the socio-economic features of a topographic sheet. In the previous part, we learn about all the physical features of the, of the map and now we will learn the occupation pattern of a topographic sheet. A topographic map, uh, sheet is generally very colorful, different colors are used and you already learn over uh, each color and what it represent. So, color also represent occupation or economic activities of that area. So, I made a list of that you need to learn. First is the presence of color yellow. It shows cultivated land so the occupation is agriculture. Presence of green color it shows forest region or vegetation then the occupation generally is forestry which includes lumbering furniture making. If open scrub is written near settlement then sheep rearing is another occupation. Presence of black circles it shows mining areas. Settlement near river it means fishing is an important occupation. Stony area like sheet rock, rock outcrop, stony waste if it is written it means that stone cutting is an important occupation. Settlement near annual fair it means uh, trade is an uh, important occupation. Mines factories if it is written it means industry is an occupation. Now area wise also occupation uh, differs. Now what is that mean? It means rural areas. Uh, uh, the main occupation is agriculture. In the tribal region, the main occupation occupation is lumbering or primitive agriculture. In the coastal areas, main occupation is fishing as well as urban areas, main occupation is service and business. Next, settlement. So, a settlement is a place where people live. It can be temporary or permanent. Settlement patterns it refers to the shape of the settlement. There are three settlement patterns in topo sheet. Okay. And you need to identify also this pattern. What are these? First nucleated settlements. So they are the ones where the houses are grouped closely together. Often rounded a, a central feature like, in, uh, like, a, uh, like a religious place, monuments, well or village uh, pasture. They are mainly seen in uh, urban areas. Then Next is um, linear settlement. So, these are settlements where the buildings are constructed in lines often next to a geographical feature like a, a lake or river or along a road. Dispersed settlement or scattered settlement, they are the ones where the houses are spread out over a wide area. They are often, uh, uh, they are often the homes of farmers and can be found in rural areas. As you can see, I have uh, mentioned the settlement pattern of an area. As you can see here, I have, I have uh, mentioned the three patterns of settlement. First is nucleated settlement. As you can see in the diagram, it is like a, a circular uh, uh, shape, circular in shape and then linear settlement. So, uh, along with the road, these settlements um, formed and then you see the dispersed settlement or uh, scattered settlement. It spread over a wide area and uh, it is scattered. So, these are the three settlement pattern. Okay. Now, moving next, we will learn the drainage pattern. Okay. Now, in the topo sheet, there are four drainage pattern. What are these? Dendritic, radial, trellis and disappearing or dry. First is dendritic. If you see the pattern of dendritic drainage pattern, it's like a branches of tree, right? So, if you see this type of pattern in topo map, that means it is a dendritic drainage pattern. Next is radial. If you see the spoke of a wheel, it's just like that only. So, radial uh, drainage pattern, it looks like a spoke of a wheel and then released the drainage pattern, you see it is a parallel, right? If you see the river stream, these are parallel. Then the fourth one is dry or disappearing, these are mainly dry rivers, okay? Uh, uh, due to the uh, lack of water, this, uh, um, uh, this river generally became dry in uh, winter or summer season, 